All right, guys, Splits here. I'm going to show you guys how to play PS5 games on the Mac with a PS5 controller, just like how I am right now. So you'll see if I press X to jump, move left, move right. This is working. And just real quick, let's try to get to exactly 2,000 likes since that's how far from whatever that thing is. And yeah, let's get right into it. All right, so you're only going to want to download one thing, and it's this right here. So this is PS Remote Play. This is what's going to allow you to play PS5 games on your Mac. And it's made by Sony, so you know it's official. And I'll put the link down below so you can just click on it, and it'll take you exactly here. So once you click it, you just want to scroll down until you see the download, which is right here. Then click Windows PC and Mac download. And then hit download again. And then Mac. And then make sure you have this checked, and then you can start downloading it. So mine's starting right here. Just open it up. And then you'll see the installer pop up. So just hit continue and then install. And then the installation was successful. So we can close out of this. And I'm just gonna close the browser. So now if you go to your launch pad, you'll see that PS Remote Play is installed. So I'm actually gonna drag mine to the dock. And then we can just start it up. So you will need to sign into your PSN account. So that's what I'm gonna do. All right, once you sign in, you'll see these two options right here. So make sure your PS5 is on so it can connect and then just hit PS5 and then just give it a sec to connect. And boom, the PS5 is now on your Mac. I'm actually using the arrow keys to move around because when you do this, your controller will disconnect. So the next step is to connect your PS5 controller to your Mac and it's actually really easy. So let's do it. So the controller is completely off. So now we can start connecting. So all you gotta do is hold the share button and the PS button at the same time and just wait for the blinking light to come up. So just give it a sec and there it is. So it's ready to pair. So if you look on the top right, you'll see this magnifying glass. So just click on that and then just type in Bluetooth and then just hit enter. And then you'll see this pop up. So you'll see that the DualSense wireless controller is right here. So we can just connect to it. So now if I use my controller, you guys can see that it's now working. So I'm gonna just test it out real quick on Spider-Man 2 and just see how this looks. So here's me testing out the PS5 controller with PS Remote Play. So yeah, it is working. So yeah, make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe. This helped you out. And yeah.